If you're a video DJ and you take your craft seriously, you should be using Mix Emergency for all your video output needs, as well as creating your own customized transparent overlays for all the clubs and bars where you perform at. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that, and we're starting right now. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, be sure to hit that subscribe button below and turn on the bell for notifications so you don't miss any future content. My name is DJ Beneficial. I'm an on-air mixer at 991 KGGI. I'm an active working nightclub DJ, and I'm also a live streamer on Periscope. In my channel, I like to talk about everything related to DJing, video DJing, hosting, live streaming, and I also like to cover how to build your brand, how to create content, and how to succeed as a DJ. In this video, we're going to be discussing how to create a custom transparent overlay in Photoshop that you could use with your mix emergency. So let's get into it. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is open your Photoshop program and go to create new. You wanna use a template that's 1920 by 1080. If you don't have one available, just come over here to the right side, make sure it's selected on pixels. Under width, type 1920. Under height, type 1080, and then press create. Now you have your default template to start working on. First thing you want to do is grab your DJ logo and drop it in there. You can resize it by hovering your mouse cursor over the corner where you see the little black box and it will give you the double sided arrow. Just go ahead and click on that and drag until you get it to the size where you want it. And to move it, just let go and click in the middle of the logo. Drag that up to where you want to put it. And once you have it where you want, just press return and that'll lock it in. Now, in case you don't already happen to have the club's transparent logo and you need to find it, most of the time you can find it on the internet. So let's go ahead and go to Safari. For an example, in this video, I want to use a bar I DJ at from time to time called Baja Sharkies. So let's type in Baja Sharkies logo and the magic word is transparent. And let's click on images. And let's go ahead and check this first one out right here. Now, if you saw what happened, this had a white background and then it turned to a checkered background. Now that's a dead giveaway that this is already a transparent logo that you can already dive in and start using. You can do one of two things. You can do a two finger click if you're on your trackpad or a right click and go to save image to downloads if you wanna send it to your downloads and then pull it out from there. But actually Photoshop is pretty intuitive. You can actually just click on it from right here and drag it and drop it in there and it converts it automatically for you. Now let's go ahead and resize this by pressing Command T, doing the same thing we did before, hover over the corner and drag it to the size that we want, click in the middle and drag it to the position we want to put it. Once we have it where we want, press return and that'll lock it in. Now let's say the club has a theme that night, like it's Mardi Gras, Valentine's, Halloween, or even just something like Thirsty Thursday, right? And you want to put that information right here in the middle. Make sure you have the text tool highlighted and go ahead and drag a box you can start typing in. Go ahead and ignore this thing that says lorem ipsum. That's actually just a default text that it puts in there. And let's start typing in Thirsty Thursday. Now, if you want to change the font, press Command A to highlight all of it while you have it selected. And click on this box right here. You can pick any type of font you want to use. I actually like the font that we have, but this is just to show you how you can do it. And if you want to change the font size, just click right over here in this box. You can press up and down on your cross pad. And that looks pretty good right there. So we'll go ahead and leave it. Easiest way to get out of this is just to click on the next tab down. And there you go. Now you want to make sure that you even everything out. So let's go ahead and fix this a little bit here. Get it to where they're all relatively even to each other. Now that looks a little better. Now, if you were to print this out as it is, it would be just a big white block that you wouldn't be able to see through. In order to make this transparent, you want to go down to the tab where it says background, click on that, unlock it, and then click the eyeball. Now you see all this checkered area, that's all transparent. So if you were to print this out the way that it is, you can already go ahead and start using this as your overlay. But there's one thing I actually want to do before we finalize this, and that's to add a glowing white layer around the black text. That way, whether it's a light video or a dark video, you'll still be able to see the information. So let's click on the layer that's the Sharky's logo. Let's click on FX, and let's click on Outer Glow. Now, it actually is already set to the way I had it previously, but this is the setting I like to use. Opacity at 100, noise at zero. I wanna have it clicked on white. You could actually give it a colored background if you want. You can make it any color you want, but let's go ahead and leave it white. And spread at zero, size 10, range 50, jitter at zero. You can go ahead and play around with those if you wanna see what looks best for you, but let's go ahead and just leave it at that for now. Now let's do the same thing for Thirsty Thursday. Just go over here and click on Outer Glow 
and just go ahead and click OK. And it'll automatically give you the same settings as the last time you used it. Now that's good to go already as is, as just a basic informational overlay that you can use. So let's go ahead and just try it out for now and see how it looks. Go to export, quick export as PNG. You can rename it if you want. We'll just leave it untitled for now. Go ahead and grab that off your desktop. And let's bring it over to Mix Emergency. You can drop it into any one of these big empty boxes. Let's go ahead and drop it right here and click on it. Now you see you got your overlay on top of your video. So if your video is playing, you'll actually see that over the video. So now you have a transparent overlay. You got the extra information up at the top that you wanted. However, to me, that doesn't really seem like enough. I think we can do a little bit better than this. So let's go ahead and see how we can add a little bit more to it and make it more creative. So Baja Sharky's theme is that it's a beach bar and the shark is their mascot. So let's see if we can add some beach type elements to make it a little bit more creative. Let's go back over here to Safari and let's see what else we can find. I'm going to type in waves transparent. Let's go to images, see what we find. There's a couple different styles in here. One thing I want to let you know is that if you see the checkered pattern already in the preview, that one's not actually transparent. And just to show you, I'm going to click on it and I'm going to go ahead and drag this into Photoshop and just show you what it looks like when it gets in here. Now you see it brought its own checkered pattern in there. Now that's actually going to stick out. That's not going to be a see-through background. So that's actually a no-go just to give you a heads up. See what else we got. This one looks pretty cool right here. Looks like we're in luck actually. This one is a transparent background. So let's go ahead and take that one. Drop that in here. Command T so we can resize it. Bring it edge to edge. Now it looks like this is actually going to cover too big of a portion of the screen. So I want to go ahead and move it down a little bit lower and also see if I can flatten it out so it doesn't go up at an angle and cover the whole bottom right side of the screen. So let's press Command T. When you get to the corner, you actually get this curved double sided arrow, which you can use to tilt the image. Click in the middle of it and you can lower it. And then let's go ahead and expand it to cover that last little corner and press return to lock it in. Now that looks a lot better. Now I also want to add a little bit more beach elements in here and I also do want to add a shark. So let's go ahead and see if we can find a cool shark. Let's type in shark transparent. And I'm looking for a Jaws kind of looking shark. And this one is actually just what I'm looking for. Now unfortunately this one is not on a transparent background but there's still something we can do to work with this. So let's go ahead and drag this, drop that in Photoshop. Now you see it has the white background with it. What you want to do is you want to click on this icon, press it with two fingers, make sure you got that magic wand selected. Go ahead and click in the white area as long as you have the proper tab selected. Click on that, press delete, there you go. Now before you continue, you want to do a right click or a two finger click and press deselect. Now the only other issue I'm seeing here is that the shark is facing to the right. Now I would actually prefer it to be facing to the left. So let's go to edit and we go to transform and we go to flip horizontal. Now he's facing the other way. Press command T so we can start moving it. And let's put this over here in the corner. I could actually leave it like that so it looks like it's coming out of the water. But actually I want to drag it a little bit lower off the screen. And I think that looks perfect. So let's press return, lock that in. Now I would also like to add a couple palm trees. So let's see if we can find any transparent palm trees. Now a lot of them come up. I don't really want one that looks cartoony. I want one that looks a little bit more photorealistic. And I think this one's probably just going to do so we can just move things along here. Let's go ahead and drag that one in here. Drop it in there. Resize it. And let's move it over here to the corner. And let's double up. So I'll press uh, Command C to copy it and Command V to paste. And Command T so I can move it. And let's tilt this one a little bit. So now you see with the extra elements that we've added in here, it's looking a little bit more thematically appropriate for a beach bar named Sharky's. But I also want to add in some of the drink specials into this overlay as well. So let's say they have a, a deal where they have a $10 Corona bucket. Let's go and see if we can find a transparent Corona bucket. And this one's not going to work because it's actually sliced off on the top. Let's try this next one. Perfect. This next one's going to work. Let's go ahead and drag that one. 
drop it here into Photoshop. Command T, let's resize this so it's not too big. Drag it down here. And let's go ahead and use the font tool and put in the information right here. $10 Corona bucket. Don't want to use that font this time. Let's do something a little bit more basic so it's easier to read. And let's go ahead and bring the font size down. And let's just go ahead and click out of it and click back into it. It's actually a little bit easier to resize this way if you already have it finalized. And then you just press Command T and then just go ahead and resize it this way. And let's go ahead and add the glow layer to it as well, outer glow. Just press OK. So now we have that information also in the overlay. And let's just add one more. Let's say they got a $5 fireballs. Fireball transparent. This might be interesting. That's kind of what I was expecting. Let me see. Fireball drink. There we go. That's more like it. Let's click on this one right here. See if that one works. See if we can get a transparent one. There we go. So we got a transparent one. Let's go ahead and drag this one. Drop it off right here. It's way too big. So we definitely got to resize that. Let's go ahead and use the same text style. We can just go ahead and click on the $10 Corona bucket text, copy it, paste it, go ahead in here, and then just type in $5 fireball shot. Click out, click back in, command T, and let's bring this down here and press return. All right, and just for good measure, let's do one more. Let's do a Jaeger bomb. So let's go ahead and do Jaeger drink transparent. See if we can get a transparent bottle. And let's just go ahead and use this one and use that magic wand tool again. Don't forget to hit deselect. And now we got ourselves a bottle of Jaeger. Let's make that one a little bit bigger so it looks about the same as the fireball. And we need a Red Bull as well. So let's go ahead and get a transparent Red Bull. And we could probably just use this one doing the same thing with the magic wand tool just to speed it along here. Delete, deselect, Command T, resize. And don't worry about that white part at the bottom because we can just put that off the screen and nobody will know. That'll just be our little secret. Let's go ahead and lock that in. And let's go ahead and use the fireball shot. Copy it, paste it, and click on the text tool. Type on the text and let's say $5 Jaeger bomb. And click out of it, click back in. Command T, let's drag it down here, and we're good. Press return. Now I'd say we're pretty much done here for today. Let's go ahead and export to the desktop, and we'll call it Untitled 2. And let's go ahead and grab it here, drop it in Mix Emergency, and let's see what it looks like. Now I think that looks way better. Let's press play on the video. Now, me personally, I think this looks so much better than just the default video being up there. Not only do you have all the branding information, and you have the theme of the venue also in there as well. And these are just the little things you can do to stand out when you put in that extra effort. Okay, so today we learned the basic fundamentals on how to create a transparent overlay in Photoshop. This is something that can be used for branding, but it can also be used to increase bar sales. While people are waiting to order their drink, they can actually see ahead of time what the drink specials are. So when they get to the bartender, they already know what they want to ask for. Instead of getting to the bartender and wasting time asking them questions what the drink specials are, they'll already know when they go up there. And that just speeds the whole process along. It just helps overall. By helping to increase the overall flow, you're increasing the bar sales, and that's something that I'm sure would be appreciated. Just make sure that if you put that information up there that it's accurate. You want to always check with the bar staff ahead of time to make sure that you are up to date on what the current specials are. If you put the wrong information on there, they're just going to ask you to take it down because they don't want to mislead the customers. And that's just going to be a whole lot of work for nothing. And in my next tutorial video, I'm going to show you guys how to create a transparent video overlay using Final Cut. 
I hope you found today's information useful. If you did, make sure to hit that subscribe button below and turn on the bell for notifications so you don't miss any future tutorials or any of the nightclub recaps that I put out here on my channel. And if you want to stay in tune to what gigs I have coming up, be sure to follow me on Instagram at DJ Beneficial. If you ever want to come through and party with me, just slide in my DM. Let me know if you're coming, how many people you're bringing, and I'll put you on my guest list. And if you ever want to catch any of my on-air mixes on the radio, you can tune in to 99.1 FM Wednesdays at 5 o'clock for the Rush Hour Mix, Wednesdays at 8 o'clock for the Mixtape at 8, and also every Friday night from midnight to 2 a.m. for the Friday Night Get Down. And if you're not in the Southern California area, but you still want to tune in, make sure to get the iHeartRadio app and look up 99.1 KGGI. Give us a follow and tune in at the same time as I mentioned. Just make sure you know it's Pacific time. And I also broadcast live on Periscope as well every Wednesday at 5 for the Rush Hour Mix. So if you want to tune in to Periscope, you can see what it looks like inside the KGGI Mix Room. And I also do my own personal Periscope episodes from my home studio from time to time as well. Be sure to stay tuned for more tutorial videos and more nightclub recaps from the venues I perform at. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.